<laughs> okay, so um, that's start with your career in AV. Okay. Yeah. Like what you started the AV career really early, right? At at eighteen. Eighteen, yes. Like right, right when you after, turned eighteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What made you choose this career path? Um. Well, when I was like starting from like sixteen or so, I already started working part time, like random places. And then when I turned seventeen, and then my parents were like, "So are you going to college?" And I'm like, "Nah." And then he's like, "Do you want to go back to Canada?" I'm like, "It's too cold." <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's actually from Canada. Oh, really? No, well, I was there for ten years. I was okay. there from grade nine to like I don't know. I was there. My family, my whole family immigrated there. Oh, that's in, nice. In Victoria, you know her, Victoria. Yes. Yeah, Never been there island. though. That, that little island, and I went that's to nice. uh, Toronto for college, wow. and then moved to Vancouver for. Uh, for work isn't it cold yeah. and boring toronto is very cold like it's more fun now but back in the days it's kind of boring. right back yeah. in the days canada was like really boring why yeah. Just, like, now it's like the north hollywood what? right <laughs> now it's the like north hollywood there's more stuff to do but, mm -mm 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 -mm. yeah i agree yeah so, so anyways that wasn't my option to go back to canada so that means i had to work here and then i had to like you know be more serious but then i had this idea that after graduating from high school i wanted to live on my own because i've been working since like 16 i had my savings and i was really really independent oh, wow. so um i was talking to my parents and without them saying yes or no i i was gone already <laughs> I, I left the house i was like thank you for taking care of me for 17 years i appreciate goodbye wow That's not, it was but, not really normal in japanese culture right? i don't think so but some people, they really move out very, very oh. early. Oh. Oh, how, wow. how did your parents take it though when you just like move out like did that? Did you hurt them feeling? Hurt their feeling? Mm, it was more of like both ways. Like we weren't really as close. Like I was oh. really close with my dad and his side. Because I went to international school. Mm. I was in Canada. Mm. All my friends like spoke English or Japanese. Mm. So wherever I go, I'll go like Shibuya, Roppongi, like with yeah. friends, international friends. But when I can't go home, my brother goes to Japanese school. My mom's pure Japanese. She doesn't really speak English. So we weren't as close. I mean, it's not like we hated each other, but we you weren't You didn't connect. Yeah, we didn't connect. So all in that, all in that, we had like problems in the family, blah, 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 blah. So I just like, okay, I have to leave this house immediately. <laughs> oh, I see. So that's that. And then after I got my own condo, I was working in a um, kebakura already. Oh. But that time, the rule was like very, not, not as strict right now. So if you're, if you a don't minor? drink, yeah. Oh. If you don't drink. And if you graduated from high school, you were allowed to work. Even though you were under 18? Yeah. Wow. No, I wasn't under 18. So you I, have to graduate. I have to graduate. Yeah. Okay, okay. So that was no problem. And then girls who worked there did AV as a side job. Or I don't know if Kebakura was their side job. I don't remember. But mm. they were doing both anyways. Mm. And then they were t telling me all these good stories. And they're like, oh, you know, you could go to overseas for a shoot magazine you get famous playboy blah, blah, blah. and i'm like <sighs> oh wow and then those stories like i had kind of this like dark image of that industry like you know yeah. they're doing it for the money or yeah. they're in trouble so they have yeah. to do it they Somebody's force you forcing to go in. them yeah like with like mobs or, behind it right, mafia. Yeah. <laughs> and yakuza yeah, controlling yeah, everything yeah. Yeah. And then they cannot run away. Yeah. <laughs> or it's either like they're just sexotic. So that was, <laughs> <laughs> that was my simple image. But yeah. knowing those people and listening to those stories, it really changed the how, how I kind of viewed them and about the industry. And I kind of like uh, researched on my own. Mm. And I saw lots of people. How did you research? Did you go to a library and... No, <laughs> yeah, and, and, and I'm, I'm right. <laughs> that I was a long time ago, right? No, but, <laughs> we still had internet. Oh, yeah. internet. Okay. Yeah, but but I don't think people at that time would share this kind of information. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. So how did you? So a phone, my phone. I had oh. like I, I bought my own phone, uh -huh. and then the internet, everything was slow and not good. But <laughs> <laughs> and you just keep flip phone, right? It was all flip, flip phone, phone back then. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So yeah, that's I did my search and I had my laptop anyways at the house. So uh. I was like researching and then I was like different kind of like company and all the AV girls who's famous back then. And then I was like, okay, maybe I will go just for an interview and see how it goes. Mm. And I booked the interview 
I went to that office and they were like, so what's the problem? I'm like, there's no problem. I just want to debut as a AV actress. And then they all flipped out and they're like, <laughs> what? Come again? Because <laughs> <laughs> they're not used to seeing like, no, a pretty no. girl like you going or in or, or a least, mixed race going no, in. No, no. Because I think I was like the first girl, one of the first girls who debuted in AV for the mixed for, nationality. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, I think. So that was, I was kind of lucky. Oh. Like, I, it was easier for me to like go to different. I had different options. Yeah, because everything was new for them. Yeah, yeah, like modeling, everything else. Right. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. There were a lot of opportunities. Like because yeah, you were one of the pioneers. Because after you, then there were more. A more lot mixed came race. out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Came out. But, but did they treat you differently because you are a mixed race? Like differently? Like what do you mean? Uh, I don't know. Would they like be, racial stuff? Yeah, racials racially discriminate or mm. or just I because in that I, industry, no. no, everybody was like very equal, very like respective, and they were kind of like saying, you mm. know what, you're so nice, you're talented, you could speak English, and then you're Japanese, and you're like, you know, you could go to both countries without any problem. So they were kind of like praising me in a way. Oh. Yeah. But before that, when I was in like younger, like elementary school, I was bullied. A in lot. Japan, they, they bully you? Lot. Yeah, because yeah, what did they imagine do? like 30 yeah. years ago, 35 years ago, mm. mixed race wasn't that popular yet. Oh. Not like today. Yeah. So models, whatever, they're all Japanese. They Or at least they look Japanese. And so I had like more lighter brownish hair back mm. then. My eyes were lighter mm. and my skins were like more white. And I kind kind of looked like a doll, right? Oh. So the guys near the neighborhood would be like pointing fingers at me and then what? like throwing rocks at me. So oh you, shit, throwing wait, rocks? Wait, we're what? talking about Kyoto, uh, Tokyo. Yes. Throwing rocks? This is not Iraq. Like a, this is not Iraq. <laughs> <laughs> no, right? Not like this huge rock. Like small, small <laughs> rocks. It hurts. It hurts. Like, people like, more like a sand. I thought was stoning. <laughs> yeah, I know. Swear I was like, 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 I'm in Afghanistan. Right, you're slut. Stoned you to death. <laughs> no, right? You were in small. Small rocks. Okay, like, like okay, sand. okay. Uh, that was, okay, I should've, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, it's throwing it's still, was Okay. Yeah, and it was still, that's not cool, man. I'm bullied a lot. Oh, wow. And, and then my school was like right near my neighborhood so I'll go to that international school right mm. and then when I go home they're all like pointing fingers at me and saying you're all gaijin gaijin like that oh. what is gaijin? What? gaijin a foreigner oh, shit. but in a yeah. like a you know slang that, so like, like, like a yes. bad way yeah. yeah and then I was like why are you what and then I'll go home and I told my dad like the guy of blah 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 is like always like making fun of me throwing stuff at me pointing fingers and he's like do you want me to talk to him I'm like no but what should I do? And then he's just like, just ignore. Ah, just I hate ignore. that. Yeah. I mean, like, if you go in a fight, of course, it's going to be more trouble, right? Yeah. And That's yeah. so Japanese. I thought your dad is from Canada. <laughs> no, I mean, like, it was easy for him, I think, to go and beat the shit out of him. But then yeah. he was raised like that when he came to Japan, when he was a kid. Like, he oh, was in a lot of fights. And oh, I went to the same school with him, yeah. Oh, so so he he's Canadian, but he pretty much grew up in yeah. Because the parents Japan. are like missionary, his parents. Are oh, missionary. Ah. so he had to go to different countries, and like when they came to Japan, he went to the international school that I went after. Mm. So it was really funny when I went to that school. All the teachers are like not all, but most of them are like his classmates, right? Oh. Or his teachers still there. They're all like, "Are you?" Yeah. Blah blah blah. blah yeah, oh, and I'm wow. like. Yeah, and who are you? <laughs> He's like telling all these stories about how he was bad and how he was like, oh, <laughs> a gangster and beating Gangs? people. Oh, okay. And I'm like, <laughs> and he was, all those things. I was like, what? Really? I cannot imagine that. And then this, I still remember this is so funny. Um, so this guy in my classmate classroom his dad was a classmate with my dad and oh. then he randomly came up to me and like hey did you know that your dad was my dad's classmate i'm like no and i don't really care and then he's like your dad kind of like beat the shit out of my dad and then <laughs> <laughs> no it's payback time and, oh, yeah. hey, and, then, like, and then he's like do you know why and i'm like no but i think he had a reason and then <laughs> your dad probably 
was an dangerous. asshole. Yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> and then, so he's like, no, he told me his side of the story. But his side of the story, or his dad told him that he just randomly came and then like kind of like, beat him up and then that was kind of like bully right yeah. so I was like yeah I, I kind of agree but <laughs> can you wait for a day I'll talk to my dad and then I'll give you the answer tomorrow so I go home wait for my dad to come home and I'm like dad did you beat blah blah blah's father oh. before and then he's like oh you oh and then he's like, oh yeah and then he's like um well what did he say <laughs> shit <laughs> and then i told him the story and then then i think he remembered everything and he's like no yeah well i did but then there was a reason and then he was like saying so during class he was looking down the window and there's a parking lot and he used to go to the school with his motorcycle right um. and he had a flag on his um i don't know in the light or some somewhere hmm. and it was a flag of the American, United States. Mm. And then, but he's Canadian, right? Yeah. yeah. So that, my classmate's dad is American. I don't know, whatever. But he got mad, offended, slash whatever. He went to the bike. He kind of like took the flag out and oh. then kind of threw it away. Oh. And he saw that. So he just rushed down. He's like, I don't know what happened, but and then things happen. <laughs> things happen. <laughs> like the flag. <laughs> So that's what he told me. So he's like, he touched my property and then he threw the flag away. Yeah. And if whether he's Canadian or whatever, he has like, it's his own bike. He has the yeah. rights to put up any flag he wants, yeah. right? Yeah. So I kind of agreed with him. So I'm like, okay, dad, thank you. I went to school next day. I'm like, yo, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I heard the story and now I know both stories. I think your dad's piece of shit. <laughs> 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 so then the whole school were like, okay, she's blah, blah, blah's daughter. Of course, she's going to be like that. So then I kind of understood why my dad would always say to me, like, just leave it. Don't do anything. Don't just leave it alone. Like, oh. if you're, you're a girl, especially, even put up a fight yeah. with everybody. It's no use. Yeah, but even in the international school, the, the way they do things is still very Japanese though. That sounds Yeah, like. I, I guess. But it, it was an international school. Yeah, like, just, I know. But then it was like religious schools. Oh, re ah, oh, okay.